and welcome to Makeup by Mon. I'm going to be doing my June favorites. So let's get started. First, I actually applied almost all of these products on my face today so you can kind of see what they are. Uh, the first one I'm going to start with is MAC Velvet Teddy. So this is one of MAC's matte lipsticks in their, you know, iconic black um, packaging and it's a beautiful beautiful nude um, I would say it's more of a pinky nude than a brown nude but it's just so nice on the lips it's it's a matte lipstick I'll bring it in just a little bit but it's a matte lipstick but it's so comfortable on the lips and I've been wearing liquid lipsticks for a really long time now so I kind of forget sometimes what a actual lipstick feels like the texture and the consistency but this is so nice so comfortable such a beautiful color that you can really use with any look that's a good thing about this color i feel like it complements any eye look uh and i wear it on like whenever i'm doing like a more natural look or whenever i want something that's a little more like glam so this has definitely been a favorite for the month i happened to get it whenever mac was doing their friends and family sale um, and it was like an extra 15% off and I got it at Nordstrom, but obviously they sell Mac, you know, in a lot of department stores. I know Dellard's and Macy's and then of course like the Mac freestanding stores. Another product that I have loved this month and the past few months uh, is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This came in one of the Sephora favorites that I got. I think I got it for Christmas and it was the dry shampoo one. And so I've just been making my way through that Sephora favorites kit and finally made it to this one. And I've heard such great things about this. It really makes your hair feel clean. Uh, I usually only use about two to three sprays of it and then I just kind of massage it into my scalp or I'll get my brush and just like brush out any white residue that happens to be there. It's This is the 1.8 fluid ounce. I uh, know that the larger version of this is quite expensive, like in the you know 20 to $30 range, but it's a really, really great dry shampoo and I'm really glad I got to try it in this size. And uh, I mean, it does exactly what it says it's gonna do. Actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. How long can you last? I typically use this on the second or third day. Right now this is, I think this is three day hair. And uh, I mean, I used it this morning and it's just, it does what it says it's gonna do. It's a dry shampoo that doesn't smell bad. It doesn't leave a ton of oil or residue or anything like that on my scalp. I just, I really like it. It definitely is top notch. I've been really into masks lately, um, doing all kinds of masks, sheet masks, and then masks like this that come in, you know, tubes per se. And the one that I've really been liking, this is by Origins, and this is the Clear Improvements. My husband got me this full size one after I had used one of the smaller size ones, and it's a active charcoal mask to clear pores. So basically, it says use once a week or as often as needed. I typically try to use it maybe one to two times a week, and then in between I'll use a, like a nourishing mask or a, a overnight mask, and it's really been helping my skin out a lot. I like the texture of this. It doesn't get super hard on your skin after it dries for 10 to 15 minutes. It actually softens as it um, stays on longer. So the longer it stays on, once you take it off with warm water and like a damp washcloth, it comes off so smooth. It's not crumbly or cakey or anything like that. I really like the consistency of it and my skin always feels clean after it. Not fresh, not like, um, you know, brand new or awakened. It just feels clean, like all the crap is out of it. And so I really, really like this. I definitely would recommend it if you are in the market to try a new, um, a new mask if you're into that. The color on my nails before I forget, it actually kind of matches my necklace, how weird. But this is Julie G. Um, I wanna say it's Gelato in Venice. One of my best friends sent me um, a little mini care package from Rite Aid because she lives in LA and we don't have Rite Aids in Texas. And so she was like, what do you want? And I said, I wanna try Julie G nail polish. And so she got me this in another color. And I really like it, it's a really pretty mint color. The texture of the nail polish isn't super great, 
but the color is amazing, amazing, amazing. That's not one of the favorites. I just wanted to share what was on my nails. Another favorite, I've been using this nonstop. Uh, this is from Real Techniques, and it is their angled highlighter brush. So they make more of a domed highlighter brush, but th this one came in a set, and it was this, a multitask brush, and then I think a foundation brush. And I got it at Kohl's, it was a three piece set. And it's so nice, like I said, I use it on my highlighter. It's really good to just kind of blend it in the cheek area, which I've been doing a lot lately. And it's great for right underneath the brow if you wanna highlight. I use it on the nose, I use it above the lip. It's a great highlighter brush and it's really affordable. So if you're in the market for uh, an affordable option for a great highlighter brush that you can kind of multitask with, I would definitely try this. You could easily use this as a contour brush as well, but I like it for its, you know, purpose of what it says on the brush, which is the angled highlight. What I have on my skin right now is the LA Girl Pro BB Cream, and this is in light medium. I got this when I went to Namie's a few months ago, and recently I just started using it over the past month. I have it on right now, like I said. It gives a really natural finish. It is a little dewy, so you definitely have to set it. But the coverage is nice, especially on the days that I don't wanna have too much on my skin, but I have some imperfections, and uh, I don't wanna go out without makeup. So this is really, really nice. Uh, it, it matches my skin pretty well for light medium, and it's one fluid ounce, and I think it was five or six bucks. So I know they sell LA Girl at Namie's, and I know they sell it online, and I wanna say that certain like Walgreens and CVS in different areas, not anywhere that I know around Texas, but I know in other cities and states, they sell LA Girl, um, but the best place to get it is probably online. This is really, really great BB cream, though. I definitely recommend it if you want something that's lightweight. If you like that dewy finish, this is definitely for you. I would, I would say from light to medium coverage. I definitely build it up and usually put two layers on, and it's great, great coverage. Another thing I've been loving I have on as well is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. The packaging is adorable. This is the False Effect um, Mascara, False Lash Effect Mascara. They also make it in like a volumizing one in a pink tube. And I've tried that one as well. I actually prefer this one. I got this one in a dual packet, dual packet, dual pack at Ulta. And this is fantastic. It really does what it says it is. I think it adds a lot of volume. I don't really have that many eyelashes per se. Like I just, it's not really my specialty. I actually tried to put on falsies uh, like last week and I don't know if it was the eyelashes or the lash glue that I was using, but it, I epically, epically failed, so I'm just gonna stick to a good mascara. This is definitely it. You can get it in a duo pack, this and the pink one, for like $7.99 at Ulta. It's right by the registers, and they also sell it online. So this is a great mascara if you want something that's gonna give you a little bit of volume, a little bit of lift. It's super, super black, so if you, um, if you like more of a natural colored mascara, this is not for you, but it's great. It can be a little bit um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not, not sticky, liquidy kind of. As soon as you put it on, you need to, you know, wrestle it in your brows a little bit and then try not to put on setting spray for a few minutes because I've done that before and it just gets, you know, all around here, it'll get underneath the eye. So just be careful with it because it can be, I guess liquidy is the adjective I'm looking for, but it is bomb. It's really, really good. On my nails currently, the duo that I've been using, I've been painting my nails a lot this month. Um, oh man, my, I just realized my nail chipped. Uh, I've been using this uh, as a base coat and like a nourishing treatment on my nails. I got this a few months ago at Sephora. It's The Fix by Formula X. So it's a five in one nail treatment. It says it does tons of things. Basically the main thing it does is it nourishes your nails, it helps them grow, it gives them shine. And I use it as a base coat. So I use this and then I put on whatever color I want. And then I've been loving the Sech V. So this is, like I said, it's called Sech V. It might be kind of hard to see on there because it's clear, but it's called the Sech V Dry Fast Top Coat. They sell this at Ulta, I wanna say it was five or 6.99 and 
it dries amazingly fast. I'm talking about within a minute or two, your nails are dry. So I'll let my color dry for maybe three to four minutes, not nearly as long as I used to, and then I'll put this on immediately and they are done. I'm talking about I can do my nails in like 10 minutes and be out the door. I still have to be a little bit careful and wait till it dries completely, but it'll at least give you dry enough that you can start doing things with your hands. I mean, I'm not talking about you wanna start smacking your fingers against you know hard surfaces or anything like that or touching things, but you can move your fingers a lot easily, more easily than if you just paint your nails and you do a regular base coat. This is definitely super fast drying. I really like it, it's clear, it doesn't mess up the nail color that I put on underneath. So I definitely recommend these two together are like the dream team for me. They work really, really well. And I was never a base coat kind of girl with my nails or really a top coat. I used to just put on nail polish and I was would always wonder like, why is it chipping? I'm using like good nail polish, like OPI, Essie, but nope, definitely those two. Give it a shot if you do your own nails and you wanna try something that's going to prolong the length of your you know nail polish. What I have on my face, I use the blush and the highlight, is from the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette. And I got this when it first got released in May, the beginning of May, and I've just fallen in love with it. I mean, the packaging itself is stunning. I really, really love this whole palette. It's, it's just a home run to me. You know, champagne pop mixed with Prosecco pop is what I have on. It's usually what I wear most days. I like to use rose spritz and then amaretto. I mix those two together for a blush. And then I also like to mix the um, Prosecco pop and champagne pop together. It gives just a really beautiful kind of fresh highlight. It doesn't look super overpowering, like you're super like meh, blinded by the highlight, but it gives you a beautiful, fresh, kind of dewy, really sparkle from within. I love it. It's a great palette. I know now they're selling it at Sephora. I think it's still in stock on Sephora.com, at least a week ago when I checked it was, because I contemplated buying a backup, but it was like $52, which is a, a pretty hefty amount for a palette like this, but it has three Becca blushes and two full-size highlighters, so you can't really beat that if you would add all those up if you bought them individually. But I decided not to get a backup of it because I have this, I have um, whenever around Christmas time, Becca came out with the three pan. It was Champagne Pop and then Pearl and Blush Copper. I got that set and then I have Champagne Pop in a single. So I really think I'm good for Champagne Pop for a while. I did sadly return my, um, the Jaclyn Hill Becca eyeshadow palette. I got one of the bad batches and it just, I was not happy with it at all. I really tried to love it. I It was painful to return it because I love Jaclyn Hill so much and I love like what she stands for and, and everything great about her, but I just got a I just got a bad one, unfortunately, and so I returned it, got my money back. It was totally fine. This is out of this world though, so I would definitely recommend this. And then the last favorite for the month, this is a MAC palette that my husband got me for my birthday. He got it on Nordstrom.com, but they sell it at MAC and they also sell it um, not only in the MAC freestanding stores, but the MAC inside of the department stores, they sell it at as well. So this is the Eyeshadow Times 15 Warm Neutral Palette. It's got some beautiful mattes, some beautiful shimmers in it. Recently I went on a trip, it was like a five day trip uh, to Chicago to visit my siblings, and I only took this palette. This is all that I took. I actually also took a uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo Pot, eyeshadow pot, and I took that as my base and then I just layered this on it. I actually also forgot my highlight. So I used one of these shades as my highlight as well and it looked great. So it's really, really versatile. I love this color in the middle. It's kind of a champagne-y pink. I mixed this with this gold shimmer up here and that was the highlight that I used since I forgot mine. I use this kind of brownish plummy color as my crease color and I love to use the um, this kind of light tan as a transition shade, this white kind of cream color all over the lid as a base. And then I've ne I had never used MAC shadows before. Man, they're great. The pigmentation's nice, they blend really easily. The shimmer ones are just as great as the matte ones. So this was a great way for me to get introduced to MAC shadows. So if you have been on the fence and you're unsure about trying MAC shadows, I would say something like this would be a great 
intro to MAC shadows, especially because I think this was like $58. Now MAC sells their individual pans for $6 each without the packaging, because I know that they did that recently to be more competitive with Makeup Geek and a few other companies that do single shadows. But for 15 eyeshadow pans and really nice packaging, really sleek, really easy to travel with, for 58 bucks, I think that's actually a really great deal. But that is it for my monthly favorites. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what did you love this month, this month of great weather. It's been really hot, but for the most part, it's been a beautiful month. And it's my birthday month, so I'm always privy to June. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.